what's up guys your boy and i'm not calling me after so you welcome to vibe media tv all right so if today's your first time watching this channel please please subscribe to this channel right yeah, yeah, subscribe because we have amazing amazing content for you guys all right so today's a special day you know why because i get to share a full day with the hawkers here on dolo street all right so i just want to share into the experience want to know if you know some people they talk say do i this hawking thing you know at the school drop out the way they do them but you know some too they take water the marquis for home some too some people are feeding themselves a lot of family with this same hawking thing all right some people even say that this is not profitable but yes so these people are on the street selling each and every day so i just want to share into the experience what they know the challenges that they go through and all that so i know it's going to be tedious and it's going to be fun as well all right so come with me let's do this guys hey so all right so guys um I have, uh, a beautiful hawker here she's going to be my friend for today she's the one who's going to take me around with the end but the first thing so since today is my first time uh, trying to share in the experience of the people selling here at the street of Jolo, yes the hawkers here um, of Jolo, um, I know it's going to be very hectic so I need a friend like a, a, a hawker, a hawker friend who is going to take me around this because I know this is not going to be a joke, yes so lucky enough I had Nana Joa here who is willing to take me through this tedious uh, exercise or this tedious business today all right so she's very willing to help me today and i'm so happy um i asked her if what they do here the business that they're running here is profitable and all that and she had to tell me yes to be honest this is really profitable this is the same business i used to take care of my two kids and this is the same business sometimes people think we that we sell on the street people that are hawking on the street uh, are not even human beings some people say we are nobody some people say mostly say we are school dropout and all that um, but i'm telling everyone that uh, it's not about that i am using this same business to take care of my kids to go to the same school uh, my friends who works at the offices and the government sectors also takes their kids too so um i feel proud doing this business and i urge anyone who doesn't have anything doing at home who thinks there's no job in this country that please if you are thinking of only working at the office a uh, space to make something for yourself i'm sure you are you are not really looking elsewhere so this is the same business i've been using to take care of my case and i urge everyone who is out there who is not lazy to come and join us here on the street and if you are really determined and you are willing to sell more in a day you're surely going to get enough to feed your family yourself and also take care of yourself all right so um that's what Anna just said and it's it's, it's amazing because um myself i i was thinking that people selling on the street are not really making enough um, to take care of even a family all right so nanajua is here to um, enlighten me more about it and it's going to be very tedious it's going to be entertaining and it's going to be uh, quite an experience so follow me let's do this guys all right all right so we are here at where i'll be coming for the items to go and sell so nanajua is here to serve as a guarantor for the items to be given to me all right so the good news about this whole hawking on the street is that you don't need a capital to get the items before you go and sell all right all you need is for another hawker who is known on the street to serve as a guarantor for you so the items will be given to you you go and sell them and bring back their capital and keep the profit to yourself so at the end of the day you didn't bring up any capital or any money to start this business but yet you'll be working away with some profit which i think that was the good news i heard about this and i feel like it was it's, it's really a good thing all right it's surely going to make someone who doesn't have any money to at least try to start something for for themselves all right so i think our items are set on the tray and it's fully packed <laughs> my items like are fully packed the has been selling before i even got here so the Nadja is already uh, i've already warmed up i'm yet to warm up right now so another have to tie this apron on me and when she started tying the apron to be honest i started getting nervous all right because <laughs> this rush hour vehicles i know are going to give me some hell of a time you know so um, guys this is going to be hectic all right so let's do this let's do this 
Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, I didn't sign up for this, but Charlie, how you go do? Um, let's do this, guys. Alright, so as soon as we started hitting on the street, Manager begins to enlighten me on the do's and don'ts on how to sell uh, on the street of Joel. Yes, Manager was trying to be very helpful and uh, trying to let me know since he knows uh, this is my first time trying to share in, in this experience. She was just trying to give me some of the guidance I have to know the do's and don'ts on selling on, on the street. What I have to do sometimes when the traffic is on, what I have to do when the cars begin to move. When the cars begins to move, how I have to even position myself, Anaja was willing to guide me with all those things, which was very helpful to me. So, um, I think in the all right. So, in less than three minutes, I had my first uh, customer who, who bought a bottle of water, and uh, it was just that first purchase felt so good. You know, I felt like I was genuinely making the first cash of the day. Yeah, so um, someone just bought one bottle of water and that was where it all started that was what drives me and i was like yes i can really do this let's do this guys let's do this guys All right, so all this while, um, Nanaja was trying to stay very close to me. Yes, Nanaja was thinking all throughout, I won't be able to pick up this challenge uh, very easily. So Nanaja was trying to, you know, stay very close to me throughout. Yes, but as I started doing some small, small, small sales, uh, I think I started really warming up into this whole challenge. Yes. Um, uh, I, uh, for myself, I know it, it won't be easy, but uh, I think I was ready to, to sign up for this now. Yes. So, Naja was very helpful to be honest. He was trying to be beside me all this while, but I was also trying to prove him wrong, you know, that I can do this. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, started doing my own thing, you know, started rolling, just giving Naja some distance. So, because uh, we are all selling practically the same thing so i didn't want to get close so close to the Nadia so that maybe he, she can steal my customers or maybe i can literally also <laughs> steal some of her customers all right so charlie that this thing wasn't a joke trust me charlie if you guys are out there and you're not respecting um, the hawkers on the street Charlie, you guys have to rethink again this is like this is this is stressful and yet we are not even seeing what they are doing out there right the crazy part is uh, when the light uh, when, when the light turns on green you know <laughs> even my cameraman has to even alert me that the light is on so Charlie man you need to get out of the street and those are some of the things that I wasn't really getting right in the beginning but as I, as I begin to warm up um, I think I was trying to get it right as we as we go you know. a lot of pockets on the street you know we, I was able to interact with a lot of them also. So in the next few hours, I I was almost giving up. Yes, <laughs> in the next few hours, I almost uh, gave up, and I was thinking this whole exercise was very tedious. This whole was a real challenge, and I was about giving up. But since I said I've already signed up for this, I had to really take on this challenge and complete it once and for all. All right, so we kept going. And Anaja knew it was very hectic, so he was just trying to still be very close to me so that I don't give up. Yes, but I'm not giving up. Yes, I'm not giving up, guys. So, all this while, I had to gradually find my way out and learn how to call on for customers. It was one thing I was forgetting, and Anaja needs to remind me 
on that one, you know. I had to be learning on the field, you know. Uh, so that I had to scream, pure water bottles, pure water bottle. <laughs> yes, and that was quite an experience, you know. Yeah, so I, I, I heard this one. I realized, no, and I just had to cross me on this one because this was my customer, you know, like this was my customer. Since I realized that I had to give the Nadja a far distance, since we are all selling almost the same items, so I had to give the Nadja some space so I can also grab my own customers. Guys, Charlie, this was really hectic. But yes, we say we go do our Yes, lucky when I swept the Nadja, I found another customer. <laughs> Yes, daddy was willing to buy a bottle of water from me. Yes, I was excited, you know, because, um, you know, sometimes you need to convince the, uh, the customers that this is, this is a chilled one. Daddy said he, want, he wanted a chilled water. Yes, yeah, so I had to replace it with a bottle of water that is very chilled. In fact, the one we make block. <laughs> Alright, so I had to replace that for daddy and um, he was very satisfied. So I think you need patience also to <laughs> to be selling on the street. Yes, you really need some patience because um, you know since you're working with a lot of human beings from different backgrounds, you really need some patience to be working with all of them. All right. So one challenge that I also noticed was the motor riders. If you don't take time, a motor rider will just knock you off the road because you know these motor riders mostly use the thin lane left uh, between the cars yes that's what they use and that's the same thin lines that the hawkers are also using to trade you know so uh, mostly if you don't take time you might be knocked down by a motorcycle and that is very 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 dangerous all right so that's one thing that you should be watching around when you are selling on the street it is quite dangerous though this is not like an easy job at all like this is a bit dangerous like selling on the street right so big ups to everyone that is selling in the street trying to put uh, your meals or trying to put some smiles uh, on their family you know it's, it's very tedious it is very very tedious you can look at my face you can see how stressful this thing was and i was already giving up to be honest i was already giving up almost giving up <laughs> other choices because this is very hectic less than two hours and i'm already like panting i'm already like so exhausted and so tired right because you have to move from one end of the traffic to another throughout yes if you are tired then you have to just rest so um i got to the place where i i took my items and i think since some of the items are getting hot because of the sun i'll need to replace them with the chilled one and it's still free you know i just have to make sure i'm replacing with the same item that i took so i don't mix up um, with the money right people mostly don't like the water when they are hot when you know the items are getting hot you have to come to where you pick the items and also replace the same items but with a much chilled or cold one so that um, you can get people buying them all right so that's what i came to do i had to change some of the items and still continue um, <laughs> with my sales yeah it was going well you know because I, I think i started making some cool cash right now and i think i'm going to make some good profit at the end of the day let's do this guys all right so i was trying to tell Nanadua how i'm getting used to the wholesaling right now and how uh, I'm, a, I'm a guy so i'll be able to sell much faster than them Nanadua is telling me i'm still a newcomer and they, they still they still have their ways and means they can they can over, overtake me so i was just trying to you know play along and let them know yeah i can really do this all right <laughs> it got to a time I felt no, this is really not for me actually. Yes. Alright, so I had to just had um, a few interactions with them. I also know uh, what they do aside from uh, them selling on the street. Yeah, and also some of the challenges they, um, they go through selling on the street. Uh, one thing uh, Nanadja really said that really got me scared so much was he said they mostly get knocked down by. Uh, 
these motorcycles and vehicles all the time i was like wow all the time and you guys are always selling here also all the time so this was one of the things that i had that really got me scared <laughs> to be honest yes they say a bobo da meaning this vehicle hits them almost like every day which i tell you selling on the street is very very dangerous guys this is very very dangerous but these guys are always on the street serving us each and every day So I had to ask Manajwa what she would have loved to do if not selling on the street. And to be honest, she would said she would have loved to be a hairdresser. So this one thing I would love to put it out there. And it's crazy, man. Like I'm feeling their pain right now. So if you're out there and you can help Manajwa to start up his hairdressing one. Hairdressing business, uh, and also a bit of a show. I say this is your hairdressing, uh, that would be amazing, all right. So, if you're out there, you can help an actor do this. Trust me, you have to do this. It's gonna, it's gonna put smiles on their face. I, I surely know that God is gonna work, reward you and bless you, all right. So, it's crazy, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, the street is hot, it's crazy. I think you guys also be proud of the you Alright, so I met another beautiful hawker. Yes, and she sells granite. Yes, I had to even try uh, some of her granite, and she gave it to me for free. Yeah, <laughs> yes. So I had to ask her the same question that I've been asking Nanadua: that is selling on the street profitable? And she confirmed that this is the same business I've been using to take care of my family and my baby girl since I gave birth to her, and she's now in class four. And this is the same business I've been using to take care of her since I gave birth to her. And I was like, wow, this is like crazy. So people mostly don't really take us very serious. And people mostly think we are just free drop out. That's why we are, we are on the street selling. But I know how much money I make on the street. And I'm very happy. And it, it really feeds the family for me. That's what she says. And to be honest, I've learned a lot just in sharing into their experience.
all right so it got time that nanadjo's items were also getting hot and she needs to go and replace them with the children so it was a different place where nanadjoa um, gets her items and it was a different place to where nanadjoa recommended me to also get my items so i had to go and escort nanadjoa to do all those changes because her drinks and water was getting hot and you know mostly the clients don't like it like that they mostly like their drink and water chilled like very 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 chilled so we are here to do all the changes all the hot ones that are, are all the hot drinks and water and replace them with the cold or chilled one all right so we are here So we are done with the changing of the items and we head back to the street and trying to go and sell. So Nanadja has all her items, drinks and water very chill right now. Yes, I didn't need to change my own because I did mine before Nanadja had to come and change them. So we are back to the street again to make more profit. Alright, so let's do this guys. It's already been um, 3 hours now and I've been able to sell uh, eight bottles and I think I've made almost like 25 Ghana City right now so I'm still gonna do more and see how much we're gonna get at the end of this episode all right so let's do that Of, of water and drinks to, to do our makeup. 
I'm loving this. I'm loving this, my guy. All right, Charlie. Charlie, you didn't make money. You didn't make money. All right, mommy. Yeah, so I'm ready to go for the second badge to go and sell. Yes, I was already getting excited with the whole thing because I felt like I was doing well. Because the way I expected things to go, I realized um, I'm doing better than I, I even expected myself to be doing. All right, so I got excited with the whole selling and the whole challenge. And I think I love this challenge. Yes, I love this challenge. All right, so Nanaja told me um, she's a Stone Boy fan, and <laughs> I was a bit surprised though, you know. Uh, I asked Nanaja to sing one Stone Boy song, and she couldn't, yes. <laughs> uh, she couldn't do that, yes, but all the same, we're good to go. We have to continue our sales, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so guys, um, I think we're going to end this thing right now. Oh, yeah. Someone is going to collapse here. Yeah. Alright, so Nanadua took me through this journey. Alright, so I didn't have any capital, but yes, so I get a chance to come and sell this Piotta. And our amazing mama helped us. And it's crazy, you know. I didn't have any capital, but yes, so I was able to make some money. Alright, so this, this whole money is not for me, actually. So I'm just going to count my profit out of this whole money and give the real capital to the lady who gave me all these items to come and say, all right, and I mean, sure, baby. But it is a year, the BFU, I think, my first of the almost 15 CD. Hey. Yeah, my idea. Hey, my idea. I told my work home. My idea. 15 CD. So I think after taking everything out, I was able to get 15 Ghana CD profit out of this four hours of selling pure water. This is crazy, man. I'm not going Oh wow. Alright, so that's all we have for you on Vibe Media TV. Alright, so if it is your first time watching this channel, please I urge you subscribe right, so this was an experience i shared with nanadua the piotta and a drink seller at jolu traffic, traffic light all right what's it jolu yes sir right. yes sir right. yes sir traffic light that is an exit day but we're able to go to and i was able to go to what they really go to you know? i know it is, it is crazy you know? the challenge is crazy the traffic is crazy the cars challenge me the name is so fast i'm going to put the phone away i'm here to follow the challenge and here now I'm going to be able to go challenge. So don't forget to subscribe. So then I just said don't forget to what? Subscribe. Alright, so we out.